What's going on YouTube? I'm Alex and today I'm taking a look at another TV box. This one is called the XBI TV box. The brand is called Gubang Doom. It's a very strange brand, I agree. So this one comes with um, Logic S8 12, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage and running Android 4.4. So I'm going to show you what comes in the box with this and I'll show you how the box performs. If you find my videos useful, please press the subscribe button below. The XBI comes in this box right here on the front, we just see a picture of the TV box itself, on this side the brand name, here some apps that come pre-installed, this is just the Kodi logo, here some video formats that the box uh, can decode, and on the back of the box some basic information about the TV box. Inside the box we get a remote control, this is not the best uh, remote control out there, uh, you should definitely use a wireless keyboard or a mouse for a better experience. This remote control takes two AAA batteries. We also get a HDMI cable, a standard power adapter for these uh, kind of TV boxes and the user manual that's in English and it does have uh, quite a few pictures here uh, so it can help you start up. The box is made of plastic entirely and on the front we just see the brand name and the XBI logo. The box has an LED light in the center that will uh, turn blue when the box is on like now or it will turn off when the box is off. On the right hand side of the box we have a slot for an SD card. On the back of the box we have two USB ports, the HDMI, Ethernet, AV, optical and where the power adapter goes. The back of the box is made of plastic as well and in the corners we see some rubberized material so the box doesn't slide. In the center there we see the XBI model number. For this review I will be using this wireless keyboard and mouse and I left a link in the top right corner if you want to check this out. And I will be also using this uh, wireless controller and again I left a link uh, on the top right corner if you want to check this out as well. Alright, so I plug the box in and this is uh, the first screen that comes on. This is basically their boot up animation. And as soon as the box comes on we get this launcher right here. Uh, it looks very basic and uh, yes, it's a launcher that you find in most of these 4.4 uh, TV boxes. If I go into settings here... Uh, this is how the settings app looks, it reminds me of the settings app on uh, an Xbox uh, N9 I believe. If I go to display here uh, we can position the display basically, the HDMI output, so we have all these outputs uh, here and we can select any of them, but I'm gonna leave it on for now. At network here uh, it does have the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz uh, Wi-Fi network so you can connect to either uh, of those. If I go to advanced uh, we don't have that much uh, to choose from. We can choose the digital audio outputs. I'm gonna leave uh, this one and if I click other uh, we can just see the Android version number, the model number which is the XB1. And if I go to more settings, basically we get the regular settings uh, app from Android 4.4. And if I click uh, here, we can see again Android 4.4.2. So it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, an old version of Android. If I go into storage, uh, first of all, we're going to see that out of the 16 gigs, uh, we only have about 12.34 available. I have available at the moment 9 because I have a few apps uh, installed and basically these are the options that we have and this box does have Bluetooth so this is good if you wanna use some uh, Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth controller. I'm gonna scroll through languages uh, just so you have an idea what languages are available. Hopefully you see the one uh, that you're interested in. So uh, that's, uh, that's all the languages that we have available. I'm gonna click on apps, I wanna see if uh, Kodi can be uninstalled, so um, let's select Kodi from here and I can uninstall Kodi if I want, however it's version 16, so this box comes with the Kodi version 16. 
I'm back to the main launcher. I'm gonna show you how apps come pre-installed to this. So we get this app installer, the browser, calculator, clock, the cloud TV app, Facebook, uh, the kill all. Basically, this is just a task killer, the media center here, Cody, a movie player, this showbox app that's actually not the app, it's just garbage and uh, I'll probably uninstall it. YouTube, an update, uh, online updater basically for the box, however, there are no updates at the moment. And we also get Twitter and Skype. This box is using Kodi 16, I'm gonna open Kodi right now, uh, just so I can show you what add-ons come pre-installed. So if I click on to videos here, and video add-ons. Uh, these are all the add-ons that come pre-installed. I see that it has the old Genesis and I don't see Exodus anywhere. So realistically not that many add-ons. However, you can uh, always uh, install more add-ons uh, in here. I'm gonna go to system and system info. And this is the maximum resolution available on Kodi onto this box. So this is the memory used here. And if I click here, we can see the total available RAM, which is two gigs and how much it's free at the moment. I'm gonna open a random uh, thing here just so we can see how, uh, how well it, uh, it plays. So hopefully one of these uh, works. So they're kind of old. And it already started. And it does seem to go uh, very smooth, but I wasn't expecting anything else uh, from this processor and RAM. Kodi can update itself from the Play Store, so that is a very good uh, thing because this so you don't have to uninstall it. It can just update uh, itself whenever an update is available in the Play Store. On the end to benchmark, this box gets a score of 31800. I was really expecting it to get more, um, however, that's how much it got. And here we just see some basic information about the box. On the Geekbench 3 we get a multi-core score of 1486 and a single core score of 531. Here again we just see some information about the box. Um, these scores are somewhat low. I was expecting these scores to be a bit higher with this type of processor and RAM. The root checker app will show us if this box has root access. So I'm just gonna press verify. And yes, this box does have root access. On the speed test app, on the 5 GHz network, the box got a download speed of uh, 5400 and on the 2.4 GHz network, the box got a score of 4700. So these are very good scores for my internet connection, which is not the fastest. I currently have the YouTube app open. I'm going to play one of my own videos so you can check out the maximum resolution for YouTube. The YouTube app is uh, somewhat slow for some reason uh, on this box. So I'm gonna maximize this. And uh, let's check the maximum resolution. And uh, yeah, it's very, very slow. So for some reason the maximum resolution uh, available on this box it's only 360p. Uh, this video is at uh, 1080p. Let me just check another video just in case. Again I'll play one of my own videos for this. And let's go to resolution here. And again, the maximum quality on YouTube, it's only 360p. So uh, that is horrible quality considering this box has a pretty good processor and two gigs of RAM uh, should give it uh, some help. So yeah, this has to do with the YouTube app uh, to be fair towards the box. However, uh, you're not gonna get more than 360p unless uh, you look for a different version of uh, YouTube. I'm currently playing GTA uh, onto the box. It's not doing uh, that great. If I play at a higher resolution and uh, with higher details, it's uh, doing quite bad. 
So I'm quite surprised that this box is not uh, doing better than uh, than this. I've connected the 500 gigahertz external hard drive to the box. Uh, it's showing up here at the moment. So I'm gonna try to open it. Uh, and uh, I'll just play a random uh, video from here. Some of these TV boxes have trouble powering uh, the external hard drives. So I'm gonna see if that's the case. So I'm gonna use the personal player, uh, whatever the player that comes pre-installed with the box. So the quality of this uh, is pretty bad, but uh, just so you can see if it's uh, smooth or not, and it does seem to work uh, fine. So uh, it can play from the hard drive uh, quite okay. Now I've connected to the box uh, flash drive that has a couple of... Uh, Files. The first one here, it's a 4K file. We'll see how uh, well it does or it doesn't. It's a very short clip. Most TV boxes have uh, trouble playing it. And this one is not smooth at all. So I, I wasn't expecting this box uh, to have trouble playing this file, but it does. So this file, it's not doing great. The next file that I have is a 1080p file at 10 bits. So we'll see how this one does. Some boxes uh, have trouble uh, with this one as well. So I'm just gonna skip forward. This one seems to go uh, better than the 4K one and this one is a hard file to play. So this one is doing kind of okay, but I have seen uh, better. So the 10 bit one, uh, it's all right. Now a 720p file, I'm just gonna skip uh, through it. And this one again, uh, seems to go very, very good. And the next uh, that I'm gonna play, it's a 1080p file. And uh, this is the last file that I will be playing. And this one seems to go quite good as well. So the file that had uh, issues was the 4K one, uh, which uh, I wasn't expecting this box with this processor to have issues with. I have Chrome open at the moment. I'm just going to open a random article and we'll scroll through it so we can uh, see how well it does or it doesn't. So I'm scrolling up, down. I'm just going to open... Uh, a file from here and we'll give it a second uh, to load and it does seem to go uh, very well scrolling up and down so to conclude uh, for the price this box is way too expensive I mean I can get a better better box with a updated version of Android like 5.1 like the MX3G uh, so this box is overpriced, you can get a better one that uh, performs better, games have uh, trouble playing, uh, some files have trouble playing, I had a couple of apps that crashed, so uh, yeah, this box needs to be optimized uh, much better. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.